Hello, people. It's me, Inferno here. Today, today, I'm here bringing you just, just, and just a video. Now that E3 has uh, concluded, the the treehouse still going on uh, for the direct uh, after the direct, but the direct is over, and they ended it off finally with some Breath of the Wild to gameplay. And oh my God, I need this game. I need this game so badly, so badly. I'm just, I'm gonna take you through some of the shots. I I don't know why that opened right there. I'm gonna take you through some of the shots. Um, as you can see, it starts off with the mouse again. It cuts to Link getting malice armed. I guess right here. Um, if you can remember, uh, the green energy thing kind of swoops in and messes with his hand in the first trailer but it seems that uh we're getting all maliced up too um then uh aside from that we have ganondorf right there trying to skip ahead a little bit zelda takes a swan dive into the ethereal darkness and then the money shot oh my god when this when this shot came into the direct i my breath was taken away pun not intended uh like i, I really got skyward sword vibes it, it it's so beautiful it's so beautiful how do we get up there i have no idea but it's so beautiful i think his arms all fucked up and his hair is longer too uh so i like that and then another really good shot a new shield all this a new glider like dude what is this i need answers there's so much another beautiful shot i i don't i really don't know what that eye is and what the shield is and all this all these floating islands how they even came to be floating in the first place need to go back five seconds is that's a very quick shot but like dude what is this what is this? What is this game? And then back back in regular Hyrule, uh, we have new looking bokoblins with bigger horns, and then a, bo a bokoblin encampment riding on a talus, which is insane. Then, as you can see, uh, we have the green arm thing. This is definitely Le Link's arm after it gets all fucked up by malice or something. Um, this is like stasis on drugs. We can get a better shot of that Bokoblin with the bigger horn. And he, he, he kind of like just pinballs everything. But I have no idea how that works. We have a firearm here against some massive monster. I don't think it's a boss. But I, I, I don't know what it is. But it's massive. But yeah, ab absolutely massive fire, uh, literal firearm. Like... And the ability to like reverse water, then we then we just like bust through rocks and we get a beautiful shot of these floating islands over what I believe is regular Hyrule, with like these temples and stuff like that. And dude, I I just don't know what any of this is. What is this? I need more. I need more. I desperately need more. Holy shit! The theories are gonna be flying out of this. This is this is insane. This is insane. And then we get the real money shot of Hyrule Castle rising up with the most vibrant malice we've I've ever seen. Like the that that's insane. Th this shot right here just god damn. I I really okay, I really really hope uh that we're cuz obviously there there's like a lot of floating islands of that. I'm just going to get like one quick idea there's a lot of floating islands everywhere obviously all that's going to be explorable but i really hope that all of regular hyrule is explorable as well obviously hyrule castle isn't um thanks to the floatiness um which that's going to be the end of the game go to ganon yada yada typical zelda stuff just like breath of the wild but whatever um i really hope that the rest of this is all explorable as well it's gonna be all the sky shit apparently new arm powers and it's insane this uh, it, it took him two years but we finally got something and then at the very end 2022 
is planned for 2022 for next year it's probably gonna be holiday 2022 uh, if i had to guess but yeah i <laughs> i am in disbelief i there, there are so many things i'm wondering but i don't want to make this video too long this is just about the breath of the wild 2 trailer in general nintendo direct was pretty good I'd say it was the best of E3, but E3 in general as a whole was very weak this year. Um, but I, I'm, I'm disappointed that there was no Pokemon this year, considering that there had been pretty much every single year. Uh, but we're probably going to get some pre Pokemon presents in a couple weeks. Well, we'll get something soon. Um, but this, this is the highlight. Absolutely, this is the highlight of all of E3 for me. Um, there was some other really good stuff in there. We got a new Smash Fighter, a uh, new Metroid game, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, in general, all this, at least for me, in my opinion, just pales in comparison to Breath of the Wild 2. The, this trailer. This this is set the bar. I, uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see all the theories and stuff like that that are going to that are gonna come out of this because this is this was only a minute and a half. This was a minute and a half. We're, we're definitely going to get more. We have to get more at some point. I mean, look at the release cycle for Breath of the Wild. If this comes out holiday twenty twenty two, we can expect to we can expect to see this at next year's E three. Hopefully, we'll be in person, uh, and maybe even we'll get Breath of the Wild to it uh, the treehouse like like we did in twenty sixteen, which would be or was it twenty seven? One of the two. One of the two. Hopefully, we'll see it at at uh, treehouse, which will be so great so great i want to see this game so badly um maybe get like some game game awards uh footage something something so yeah with all of that being said i've been inferno also you beautiful lovely people again next time